All right guys, so I got a pretty cool review for you today. Today I'm taking a look at a lot of the, not all of the grips that are on the market, but most of the very well-known grips that are on the market. And we're gonna be comparing them to the standard grips that come on some of the more well-known bats. So starting with the Anarchy. All right, so we got that standard anarchy grip on there on this anarchy jester then we have the monsta torch banger with that standard thin monsta grip like they usually put on their bats or comes with it then we have the standard easton grip which I believe is also going to be coming on most. I believe that this grip is also coming on most of the Easton, Worth, and Mikan. Now that they are the same company, that's another standard grip there. Then we move on to the Black Sheep that has the Vuk grip. So that is grip tape there by Vuk. And on the Freak, we have the Lizard Skin, one of the more popular aftermarket grips out there for bats. On here, we have a Viper Grip on the Anarchy Autism. Viper making a lot of really good stuff, so we're going to see how that grip does. Next is the Tiger Grip. All right, it's got the tiger stripes in it like most of their grips. We're going to see how that compares to the others. Then one that I have found to really like are the Vulcan grips come in a lot of different, a lot of different variations and you can find them easily on Amazon. And then what a lot of guys do, they go and get this Baseball athletic grip tape or put just athletic tape and we're going to see how that compares to the other ones All right guys, let's get into it All right guys, first one I'm going to be starting out with is the Anarchy's standard grip paper I give all of them about you know, three, four swings, maybe five, if I'm really liking it. Uh, some of these I am going to add the Tiger Stick to it, which is a great product. So instead of Pine Tar, great alternative is the Tiger Stick, all right? Professional sports grip. Now I'm gonna put this, a little bit of this on the bat itself and a little bit on my gloves to start and I'm going to do that for every bat. <laughs> I mean the Anarchy grips not the uh, not the grippiest so definitely definitely needs the uh, the tiger stick thickness of the grip is a little thick for me I mean it's not it's not really responsive when you're hitting with it all right now on to the monster grip probably the thinnest grip on the market as many of you probably know Gonna add a little bit more tiger stick here. One more tiger stick. A little bit on the bat. Pinky dropped off. I definitely 
definitely really like the feel of this bat and its grip. That smaller grip, I mean, it's, it's all on preference, but I think you're going to find with a thinner grip, uh, especially for guys coming over from baseball that are used to the type of grips where you put just a little bit of tape on the bat. I think this right here is going to give you closest to that feel to your East End Mike and Worth type grip. Uh, a little thinner than the Anarchy, a little, not as much padding. definitely like stock grips. I try to keep them on my bats as long as I can until I physically have to change them out. And once, once you get a little bit of tackiness with that tiger stick on there, definitely feels a lot better, a lot better control. Alright, so that's the Easton Mike and Worth grip. Moving on to what I think is a lot of people's favorite, the Vuck Grip, all right? Just installed this one today on the Monster Black Sheep here. See how it feels. Whew. Yeah, definitely like the feel of the Vuck. All right, we're moving on to the Lizard skin here on the Mike and KP. Great thing about the lizard skin is it comes in a lot of different designs and colors. So whatever bat you are using, you can find one that's gonna match really well, gonna look really cool. Uh, it was definitely a lot of guys go to. I mean, you can pick them up at just about any Dick Sporting Goods, uh, Amazon, uh, any of your local sporting goods stores will probably carry Lizard Grip. I mean, I really, I'm really liking the feel of that. That definitely, I mean, it's a, it's a great go-to for a grip. Definitely compares well with the Vuck. Now the Tiger Grip. All right, the Tiger Grip here. I found right out of the package, uh, right after putting this grip on, it did have extremely good tackiness. A lot of guys even thought that the Tiger grip <laughs> had some sort of Tiger stick or pine tar on it uh, when, they, when they felt it, but these come really tacky. Uh, after about a few hundred swings though, it did start to lose its tackiness. So definitely pick up some of this tiger stick to help that out. I don't know, uh, that's, that's a tough one. We'll see how it stacks up. But some of the coolest designs out there right now for a grip are coming out of Viper. I really love the autism one that they made here goes perfectly with this Anarchy autism bat, pairs perfectly. I love that about it. I uh, love that their company did something like this because autism awareness is really important to me. So I really, really like what they did with that grip. I will say right out of the package, when installed, the Viper Grip did seem to have the least amount of tackiness out of any aftermarket grip that I have applied so far. Uh, it, it, it definitely had a more smooth kind of feel to it. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I really like the feel of that. I mean the lizard skin gave me a little little better feel with the tiger stick on there. Now we're moving on to the Vulcan grip. Alright, not very talked about these grips. You can pick them up pretty easy on Amazon. Find just about all their uh, all their different designs. They do have a bunch of them. I feel like it was really pretty simple to apply this grip. I found they, they go on and are really durable. Um, tackiness wise. They do start out relatively tacky, not the most tacky grip out there. All right, now probably one of the more common things that you see with a bat is when somebody puts an athletic tape on there. I believe this is from Franklin. It is a like digital camo. Uh, baseball back grip tape um, a lot of guys also use athletic tape just regular athletic tape and they they wrap it how they like to wrap it um, I mean I I personally am not a huge fan of just using athletic tape I feel like you get absolutely no grip right away with the athletic tape but the only bonus is you're getting the thinnest possible product to use as a grip. So if you want the thinnest <laughs> possible grip and the most customizable where you can wrap it however, the application with athletic tape is definitely easier than some of these other grips. So I definitely get the appeal in that sense. Even with the, uh, the tiger stick on there, you know, it's completely different from what you're getting out of, say, a Vup grip. Just uh, break it down and let's name who the best grip, in my opinion, is. All right, so I've broken them down into three different categories. Uh, first here is the grip tape category. So you have the athletic tape there and then you have the VUP grip so if you are just looking for a thin grip tape athletic tape type feel I would definitely choose these or 3M grip tape uh, you can buy 3M grip tape cheaper in bulk and cut it to your your choosing but definitely uh, VUP does a great job with their grips and it comes with the tape as well so you don't have to use electrical tape uh the athletic tape i really didn't like the the feel of it probably going to change that out on this bat i just wanted to do it for the uh review and definitely would not not go with athletic tape unless it's something that you are completely accustomed to and even with tiger stick i don't recommend it now we got the standard grips coming from the Easton Worth Mikan that you're going to see, the Monster, and the standard Anarchy grip. Uh, out of the three of those, I definitely have a preference, and it would be the Monster grip. Monster's original grip, I feel like a lot of guys really like it. Uh, with the Tiger Stick, I was definitely feeling uh, a better grip and tackiness to the bat. I was definitely staying on the bat a lot better with this one than any of the others. Look-wise, obviously having that Monster decal in there is really cool. So you're getting a better look. I mean, that's really really not cool you want to most anarchies i end up taking the grip off of it right away because the look of it and the durability of them is really not good durability wise you're seeing that 
The Easton is not holding up really well. Uh, Look-wise, it's a little cooler than the Anarchy, so I would give it to Monster on that one. And then in this category, the aftermarket, more customizable grips. Uh, you have the Vulcan, the Viper, the Tiger grip, and the Lizard skin. And in that category, I would definitely have to give it up to Viper on feel, tackiness, and just the actual customization you can get out of a Viper grip and the look of them. So if you're looking to really customize your bat, definitely pick one of these Viper grips up. Uh, and then if overall, we're gonna have to go head to head with my top three here. And if I had to say out of these three, which one? I mean, Monster is definitely going to be in second place. And I'd say it's a tie between the Vuk and the Viper Grip. So either one of these are what I would put on my bat, depending on what I am looking to do. But grip wise, the fact that you don't have to buy any Tiger Stick or Pine Tar for the Vuk Grip and that you are going to get that same tackiness, feel, and grip, uh, no matter what the weather condition, um, I would definitely, definitely look into them. So I would have to put 1A and 1B on these, and I'm gonna give it up to the, the Vuk Grip just for that, that fact that you don't have to put any Tiger Stick on it. You don't have to put any uh, tar pine tar enough to tar up your bat you can keep your bat looking really good and just use this grip and you're going to get feel and a little bit of cushioning from that grip uh, i haven't found anybody that doesn't like that so either go with the vuck or buy some 3m grip tape uh, so if you guys you guys like the video uh, subscribe like, comment, let me know what your favorite grips are. Is there one out there that I missed that I just have not come across yet that you really like? I think that you won't be disappointed if you put one of these on your bat. Like always, I have no affiliation with anybody. I am just your average player out here looking for what is best for me and maybe that can apply to you as well. So I would say test out the different grips, but. If you want a no miss, definitely go with the Vuck Grip. And uh, all right guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe please. And let me know what you think about the videos. Thank you.